Hi everybody, welcome on today's video. Today is uh, Thursday, the 7th of September 2017. Yesterday we did some low register practice, the day before some lip bending, and I got quite a few emails, thank you so much uh, for your support, and um, I'm really happy that these videos are interesting for you. Um, and I had uh, quite a few uh, questions. So I'm on lip bending, I'm going to take care of those uh, tomorrow and today on more low register practice. Um, uh, so th there, is one, there is one exercise that demands a lot of patience but that is the most useful exercise you could do for low register. As I said yesterday, uh, for me having a good low register or even having a good high register doesn't mean that you can blow notes as hard as possible in either of those registers or just uh, make them sound somehow squeak up there or just like pedal with a weird embouchure down there. For me having a good register, a good low register or a good high register means that you can use them both in a musical context. Um, so that means you can make them beautiful, you can have a good sound, you can go from up to down and back up flawlessly uh, or up and down flawlessly if, if, if we're talking about the higher register and you can play it in different dynamics. I have one exercise, again it demands a lot of patience and perseverance but if you really want to improve, if you're really committed to improve then do it and it will have a lot of benefits for you. So here's how it goes. It's basically you've heard that to advance really uh, efficiently in certain paths you have to take one step back and two step forward right and this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go we're gonna start in on a register that is very comfortable and we're gonna play a note it's gonna have a good sound and if it has a good sound we're authorized to go down one semitone and if it's not good, then we have to go a step back to where the tone is good. And you can go down as low as possible as long as the previous note has a really good tone. If it has a bad tone, you have to go back up. It's kind of a game, it's kind of like, like uh, shoots and ladders, snakes and ladders. Um, so uh, let me show you an example, obviously I'm not going to do it because it does take time. It's a really good exercise. Here's how I would do it if I were you. I would do it in front of a mirror, that's number one, in front of a mirror, so that you can always see that you have a good embouchure, that you're not puffing your cheeks, cheeks, your cheeks too much. And um, yeah, so in front of the mirror. Good, nice, relaxed uh, posture, good, relaxed position. Uh, second thing, use a tuner. Uh, I talked about the TE tuner uh, not long ago. I will link it again below in the video description. Uh, but any tuner will do. You know, this is just a really cheap tuner that you can have in a nap. Um, and metronome is not necessary for this exercise. Here we go. I go down. We're so okay. Let me fast forward. so good right I have to go up it's okay good so I am using a valve it does have more resistance but it has to be the same sound and go down 
go back up, you got it. I don't need to do an hour video on that. Do this exercise, it really works. If you want to work on your high register, do the same. Um, then you have to vary a little bit. So now it was just attacking notes and um, make sure you do them pianissimo, piano, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, forte, fortissimo, short, long, um, crescendo, diminuendo, crescendo, diminuendo, do them in every way possible. The point of this is to have the same beautiful sound up and down. And then what you can do is uh, couple the, the notes. So. Okay. Okay. Let's say that it was not good, okay? So... Okay? And then... Uh, you go down until the, to, until the E. And then, if it was all good, you start on the A. So that was with no tongue, and then you do it detached. But this is okay, when you go to the lower register... too much time on it again um, you got the exercise I will write this exercise of course in uh, this week's exercises that I will send you directly into your inbox if you have not signed up um, just know that it's completely free just send me an email this is my email address I will send you every week a set of exercises that we talk about as well as some etudes from time to time and even some solos from time to time uh, take care. Tomorrow I have another long day of rehearsals, but I will try to do a video. Here I will go into more details about lip bending because I had a lot of questions about those lip bends. Um, basically, ju just just um, as a little introduction, as a little aperitif, lip bending is basically like what you would practice with your mouthpiece. This is the same sensation. So, like... Same without the vowel. Okay? So I'll talk about this tomorrow. I'll, I'll get into more details. Take care. Have a good practice. Practice won't make you perfect, but it'll make you better. So have fun. And always, it's always about pleasure. Always about making. Making music is about pleasure. If it's a chore, uh, something's wrong. Okay? Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.